and welcome to the Chromebook Setup Guide. Our 10 easy steps on how to become an LISD Chromebook Master. Are you excited? We are. So let's get started. First things first, take out your Chromebook from the box that it was provided with. And your Chromebook works as a laptop and a tablet. You will see that you can fold it over and it'll become a tablet for you. It even has a touch screen. Your Chromebook comes with a two-part USB-C power adapter. Go ahead and connect them together and plug it in to begin. Please note your Chromebook battery lasts up to eight hours when it's fully charged. Step number two, taking care of your Chromebook. Listen carefully. So you've got a Chromebook, now what? Here are some helpful tips for taking care of your Chromebook so that it will always be ready to use. Tip number one, keep your Chromebook on a flat surface like a table or a desk. Don't leave it on the floor where someone could step on it. Tip number two, don't pile things on top of your Chromebook. Chromebooks aren't meant to hold weight, so any extra pressure can break the screen. Tip number three, Make sure there isn't anything on the keyboard when you close your Chromebook. Even something as small as a pencil or an eraser can break the screen if it's in the way. Tip number four, keep food and drinks away from your Chromebook. And make sure your hands are clean. Crumbs and liquids are very bad for your Chromebook and can cause it to stop working properly. Tip number five, always make sure your Chromebook is closed when you carry it and always use two hands. Never carry your Chromebook by the screen. Don't worry, your Chromebook will start right back up when you're ready to use it again. Tip number six, plug your Chromebook in when you're not using it. That way it will be charged and ready for when you need it. Tip number seven, if your Chromebook does break, make sure you tell your teacher right away. The longer you wait, the worse the problem could get. Don't try to fix it yourself. Let the experts handle it. While you're taking care of your Chromebook, remember to take care of yourself online too. Stay on approved websites, keep your password private, and log off when you're done. Remember, anything that happens under your account is your responsibility. Taking good care of your Chromebook will ensure that you always have a working device that's ready whenever you are. Be a responsible user and make the most out of your Chromebook. Now, you, now that you know how to take care of your Chromebook, let's get to know your Chromebook. You will see that your Chromebook on the left hand side has six different areas that you can utilize. The, very, the most important one that you need to remember where it is, is the power button. On the right side, you're going to notice you have four different areas that you can work with, starting with your volume button. I know that that's very important and then of course your charging port or your cable. Then this is the front and top view of your Chromebook. So you'll see that it has a camera in the front and it also has a camera within the top view so that when you convert it to a tablet you have both a front and a rear camera. Now we're ready to plug in our charger and turn on your Chromebook. You're going to notice that if your Chromebook already has some charge, it will automatically turn itself on. So now we're ready to get connected to your Wi-Fi. When you open up your Chromebook, one of two things can happen. It can automatically tell you that no network is available or it'll ask you to sign in. So regardless of what comes up on the screen, we do ask that you either click here to connect to your Wi-Fi to select your preferred network, or you can easily select the network from the options that are provided. Once you go ahead and click on to select a uh, network provider that you have within your home, you can go ahead and select it, put in your password, and then go ahead and click connect. Once you click connect, your Chromebook is now ready to work on your Wi-Fi network. 
and you can go ahead and sign in. How do you know that it's ready? You will see that your network is here listed and you will see the little emblem of Wi-Fi uh, pretty much fully loaded to the top. Step number six, sign into your Chromebook. We're getting there, boys and girls. So you're going to sign in with your district email. Uh, if you don't remember what your district email is, go ahead and put your first name followed by a period, the initial of your last name, and the last three digits of your student ID number. And then you're going to follow it by at mylisd.org. Then you're going to put in your password, which is your last name with a capital letter, followed by the first four digits of your date of birth. So we put a sample student there for you so that you can be able to use it as a guide. If you have trouble with your credentials, the very last slide on this video will show you how to request technology support form so that way we can go ahead and give you a call and reset your credentials. So once you log in for the very first time, you're going to notice this little pop-up come out and it tells you that your Google Play Store will automatically install and all of your district issued apps will begin to download on your taskbar. You're gonna see your Google Chrome browser, Class Link, your Microsoft apps, and several of your Google apps as well download automatically to your taskbar. Now we're ready to update our Chromebook. Why should we update our Chromebook? Well, we wanna make sure that since this is a brand new Chromebook that it is up to date after you do your initial setup. So we do ask for you to follow these steps. So again, you're going to click right here where the time is. You're going to click on the little gear. Once you do that, then you're going to get this menu. Go ahead and click on the About Chrome OS. And right here, you're going to see what version of the Google Chrome OS is installed in your Chromebook. If you wanna check for updates, you can, and you can go ahead and click here and the system will automatically check for updates. If it does need to be updated, it will let you know. Otherwise, the update will install and your Chromebook will need to be restarted. Step number eight, your Chromebook is ready, yay! So you can now click here to access Class Link. So this is the little logo of ClassLink. What is ClassLink? It's our single sign-on platform where you can go ahead and put in your credentials, which will automatically be populated once you are logged into your Chromebook. So this is awesome. Your uh, username and your password should automatically be placed in there for you because you're already logged into your Chromebook. And then you'll have access to all of your ClassLink apps, which includes Google Classroom, your Outlook email, your digital textbooks, AR, and everything else that you would need from the school district. In addition, you will also have access to your Google Chrome browser, where you can go ahead and click on it and go into all of your Google apps or even log into Google Classroom. Next, you'll be able to click on your MS Office apps your Microsoft Office apps such as Word, PowerPoint, or Excel, you can go ahead and click on either of these icons and that'll take you straight to the program. You will note that you can drag and drop the apps according to the way you wanna arrange them so that it's easy for you to place them in whatever order you want to make it user-friendly for yourself. Now, we're ready to look at our Chromebook keyboard. You're going to notice that the keyboard is a little different than that of a regular laptop. So if you wanna look at the shortcuts of how to, for example, do caps lock or delete, since those are not keys on your keyboard, you can go ahead and press Control, Alt, and question mark all at the same time. And you will see these two menus pop up so that you can look at the different keyboard shortcuts. Like for example, take a screenshot. It says control and then the little screen icon on your keyboard. Uh, turn caps lock on and off, alt and search as it says it right here. So this is a really neat thing about Chrome. Uh, the Chromebook is that you do have your keyboard shortcuts so you're able to do exactly what you would normally do on a regular keyboard except here within the keyboard of your Chromebook. 
In addition, you will see that you do not have the function keys at the very top of the keyboard like you would a regular laptop, but you see all of the icons here and they tell you exactly what each of them stand for. So you can go ahead and click on them and practice. You will see a QR code there where it gives you a keyboard simulator. So if you want to practice and see the different shortcuts, go ahead and scan this QR code and you'll be able to go into the keyboard simula simulator so you can become an even bigger Chromebook master. The last thing as far as the Chromebook uh, equipment is concerned is your touchpad. You will notice that you do not have a a mouse to use but you do have your touchpad and so depending on what you're doing with your Chromebook just go ahead and follow through with these different suggestions and you will be able to go ahead and right click by pressing or tapping the touchpad with two fingers you can open see all open windows close a tab and so on and so forth by going through this list of different shortcuts on using your Chromebook touchpad. And lastly, really great news for those of you who have already initially set up your Chromebook using the Wi-Fi one time. So you just need to set up your Wi-Fi one time either at home or in a designated location that has free Wi-Fi. And then when you get home, if you don't have internet, you can still use your Chromebook even if you're offline. So all you do is when you open up your Chromebook, after you've already logged in once into the Wi-Fi, it's going to tell you, oops, wait, network not available. So all you have to do is click right here where it says sign in as an existing user, and it will pick up your username and password since you had already set it up before, and you'll be able to work on all of your documents offline. The minute that you go back into the Wi-Fi, you'll be able to, the system will automatically pick up any of your offline documents and save them online. So these are the 10 easy steps for you to become a Laredo ISD Chromebook master. Congratulations! Your Chromebook setup is complete. All we ask is for you to please scan this QR code Fill out this form to obtain your master certificate. Congratulations. And as we mentioned before, if you do have uh, any type of difficulty throughout the 10 easy steps, we do ask for you to fill out a technology support request. You can go ahead and scan the QR code that you see here along with either clicking on this support form if you're looking at the presentation. So we thank you so very much for your time. We congratulate you if you have finished these 10 easy steps on setting up your Chromebook and you are now an LISD Chromebook master. Congratulations and see you soon.